Hey guys! Amanda here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you how to get voluptuous lips without the use of lip filler. I know it's a big trend right now to have like really big voluptuous lips and I know a lot of girls are thinking about or considering getting lip filler but before you do maybe try the magic of makeup. I'm not opposed to people who like to get their lips fill their injected. I just like to do it using makeup. And also, I just wanted to thank everyone so much for all of their support and just like for subscribing to my channel and their sweet comments. It really meant so much to me. And this week's giveaway, we are giving away a Fuji Film Mini 8. I have one of these, it's pink and I love it. So how you can enter for this will be on the description box below. Also, we're giving away five of my favorite lipsticks. They're pretty neutral colors. So I hope you guys like them and be sure to enter and one more thing we wanted to add We are getting back on track with our scheduling We were on vacation in Cabo and it just kind of threw our whole routine off So we'll be posting on Sundays from here on out with our giveaways keep tuned for those So let's move on to how to plump up our lips with makeup Just kidding, but like seriously, lips make such a big difference, it's kind of scary. And I look scary without my lips on, but anyway. First, we're gonna start off by contouring our lips, basically. We are going to create an illusion by using shadows that our lips are fuller than what they actually are. So we're gonna use the Kat Von D palette. I use the shade Subconscious. You don't have to use this shade. Use any bronzer that you have. Just make sure it is a really ashy tone because if you use like an orange or like a yellowy base, it just looks really bad and it doesn't look like a shadow. It looks like you put bronzer on your lips. So I'm going to use a flat brush. Just dip a little bit into subconscious. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this face. It's really attractive face. And you're gonna take your brush and rub it in underneath. So you have that line, you want to go underneath it. So from here to here, that is like really hard to talk like that. So you're going to take it and you're just going to blend it out. Blend it down and on the sides. This is making the illusion that we have such a plump lip that we are creating a shadow underneath, like how it hangs. So that is it for the bottom lip. Now we're gonna move to the top lip. The top lip, you guys have to be so careful on because if you put a little too much, it looks like you kind of have like a weird mustache, like a bronzy mustache on the, your top lip and it can look really bad. Trust me, I know I have done this before and I made this mistake, so. You just wanna start off really light and work your way up to what you're comfortable with. If you like it darker than this, you can do it darker. If not, hey. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm running it down the sides of my lips. And that is it for the top lip. It's like really subtle. So next we're gonna highlight our Cupid's bow. You can use any highlighter that you prefer. I typically love this Buxom and it is called Silk Sheets. Ooh. I wonder who creates these names because it sounds like the funnest job. So I'm just taking a nice fluffy brush and I'm just taking very light highlighter. I never like to go too crazy with the highlighter just because it can look really bad really fast. So I just take it and kind of fluff it around. Hopefully you guys can see this. Next, we're going to line our lips. When you line your lips and you're making the illusion that you have fuller lips, always use a matte lipstick or lip liner, whatever you want, and always do a darker shade rather than a nude. A darker shade will hide your lip line, your actual lip line. It will make it look like you do have big lips, not like you're painting them on. So the lip liner we are using today is Ramel London's Tiramisu. What is the name of that song? There's like a song with like Tiramisu in it. What is it? Tiramisu, Tiramisu. Let my coattail drag, but I ain't Tiramisu. Okay, so 
now that that's over with. We're gonna take the tiramisu and we're gonna line our lips. Just line your lips how you normally would. Follow your natural lip line all the way around and then we will overline the lips and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so our lips are lined. This is what my lips would look like if I just followed my lip line, but now we're gonna overline. When you overline your lips, you're gonna overline here, down at the bottom, here, and here. You're going to reconnect those overfilled lines back to your crease. Because if you overline all the way to your crease, it will look so weird, just trust me on that. You can try it on your own and maybe you'll like it. I've done it before and it looks weird because when your mouth is moving, it's like your creases don't line up with what your mouth is doing and it just looks bizarre. So, take my word for it. Or don't and let me know how it goes. And so, we're just gonna overline right here. And when I say overline, I don't mean like You're just gonna take your pencil and how you would normally line your lips, just go one layer over it. And then maybe just keep going until you like it. Just don't go too crazy, okay? That's all I'm saying. Now, same thing goes for the top as your bottom. So you're gonna make this all full right here and all this, but you're always gonna connect back to the crease. So this side is overlined and this side is not. It is not too big of a difference. It is a subtle difference and it will make a big difference once we put on our lipstick. So just wait for the magic to happen. It's just a side note. I get so like sweaty. This is disgusting when I film these videos because I get like so nervous. I don't know. I just get so hot in here. Do I sound like a lunatic? A little bit. So we are finally done lining our lips. Now we're going to fill in our lips. Before you do that, just kind of like blend it down just so it's not such a fine line between your two shades. The lipstick I am going to use today is number 575 Brown Blush in Maybelline. You're gonna wanna do matte first. Now, once we have put the lipsticks on our lips, you can use your concealer or foundation, just a light shade. You can even use a lipstick, and I like to put it in the middle and kind of give my lips an ombre. It also is a kind of another illusion that it makes your lips look fuller because it's like plump here and then fades out darker. So I'm just using my concealer and I'm just taking a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to dab it on the middle of my lips. So if you need to put on lip gloss because you hate the way that matte lips are so drying, some people don't like that texture on their lips, then just take a little bit of lip gloss and you're just going to keep it within the middle section. Don't put it on the outskirts if that makes sense. Like some people when they put on their lip gloss are like, oh, and they put it all over their lips. Don't do that. Just keep it in the middle. Wha bam <laughs> That was too much. So this is the finished lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it informative and hopefully helpful. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for all my new videos. And please comment below if you guys have anything else you would like to see or know or whatever. I would love to hear from you guys and I'll see you all here next week.